New YouTube channel, R Train Data, and uh, going through a series about linear regressions. And so, what I thought I'd look at today are something called partial regression plots, which are also called added variable plots. And again, we're going to use the MT Cars data set. Let's fly through the beginning since I covered this in other videos. MT Cars. If you want to exp um, save it as an object in our environment, we use the left arrow. And then um, at the top, what I'm going to do is create a space to load some different libraries. Let's put uh, Tidyverse up here. If you don't have it installed, install dot packages. Uh, backticks Tidyverse is the way to do it. If you do have it installed and you type install dot packages, it really just updates the package, so no harm there. And then within Tidyverse, we can use dplyr uh, glimpse function. And then that tells us kind of what's in that data frame. Now, let's create a ggplot. It's a decent place to start. Data equals MT cars, aesthetic mappings, weight on the x axis, miles per gallon on the y, and then geom point. And then we can also do geom smooth for a smooth model, method equals LM for linear model. And I'll turn the standard error off, SE equals false. And there's our model right there. Now, creating a ggplot is not the same thing as creating a line linear model. So, MT cars linear model, I could say the LM function, miles per gallon as a function of weight in the MT cars data set here. This is backwards in a sense between these two because weight on the x axis and miles per gallon on the y. But when you create the model, you put miles per gallon first, miles per gallon, and then this tilde is like as a function of miles per gallon, as a function of weight. And so this will have a slope of negative five. However, we can add more variables to our model. We could do color equals, for example, um, displacement. And then we can add a plus sign for displacement. We would use an asterisk for interaction terms, but we're not going to cover that today. We'll do a plus sign um, to create a more additive model. Now, here's our model coefficients. Let's run the whole thing. So we, can, we have the graph here. We can see the color changes along the x-axis for displacement. So there's obviously this variable that is um, correlated with weight. Um, and miles per gallon. So it kind of begs the question, like what is, what is the cause of a decrease in miles per gallon? Is it the weight of the engine or displacement, which is the size of the engine? And if you have any um, questions about what the data set means, one of these public data sets, you can type a question mark, empty cars, and then that will pull up a specialized list, which is the documentation for the data. And then if you want to see what other data sets are, just has built in, you could type data, open and close, and it pulls up a list as well, our data sets. And there are other libraries you can install to create more data sets. Um, so, I mean, these graphs, you could keep adding more and more, like size equals horsepower, and um, uh, shape is equal to as factor um, cylinder, for example. So we can keep adding more and more things to our plots to make it more and more complicated. I think beyond five or six variables, you might not be able to see or understand anything. Okay, so here it is. So what is an added variable plot? Well, an added variable plot is a way of um, showing the slope of the coefficients, the weight and the displacement. So more, more specifically, more technically, um, an added variable, variable plot is a scatter plot. It's a transformation of an independent variable, like in our case, weight or displacement, and a dependent variable like miles per gallon that nets out the influence of the other independent variables, weight or displacement. So in other words, a partial regression plot allows us to see the relationship of weight, miles per gallon, while controlling for displacement, or else to see the relationship of displacement, miles per gallon, while controlling for weight. So the, there's a very easy way to do this within 
um, a library called car. So I'm going to install the car package. I already have it installed. I like to put my um, packages up at the top and then I could say library car and then say added variable plot with a comment so I know what that <coughs> package is doing. But car has a function called AV plots that would take a linear model object as an argument and um, it's it is case sensitive AV plots I think hmm okay let's let's double check that AV plot AV plots yep that should be it there it is okay so in the first case it's showing the impact of weight while holding displacement constant and in the second click case, it's showing the displacement while holding weight con constant. And the slope of each line corresponds to the coefficients that we could see in the multivariate regression model. So how is this constructed, right? Um, if we wanted to construct this in ggplot methods, how can we do that to have more flexibility? Well, I already took notes here, so you don't have to bear with me typing. But the steps for creating an added variable or partial regression plot, you first regress miles per gallon on weight in our case. And then you regress miles per gallon on displacement. And you do the other versions. You regress weight on displacement. And you regress displacement on weight. And then there are two graphs here. So here are the two steps for finding the two graphs. So to find the effect of weight on miles per gallon while holding displacement constant, you're going to put the residuals from weight as a function of displacement on the x-axis and put the residuals, residuals from miles per gallon as a function of displacement on the y-axis. And so then on the other hand, you know, to find the effect of displacement on miles per gallon while holding weight constant, you're going to do a similar treatment. You're going to put the residuals from one of the models on the x-axis and the residuals from a different model on the y-axis. So to construct this ourselves, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our empty cars data and I'm going to create a new data frame called empty cars PR for partial regression. And then I'm going to select miles per gallon weight and displacement uh, only. There we go. So uh, it's giving me a strange error message. And the reason actually is because I think I have a different package loaded that also has a function called select. So I'm going to call this function select more explicitly from dplyr. There we go. And now I have three variables here. No need to construct the first linear model. I already have that right here. But I'm also going to create an empty cars linear model, which I'm going to call like um, model weight, empty cars model weight, which is miles per gallon as a function of weight. And then I'm going to create another model called empty cars model displacement, which is miles per gallon as a function of displacement. I'm going to create another one called empty cars model weight against displacement, which is going to be weight as a function of displacement. And then another one I'm going to call displacement against weight, which is going to be the opposite, displacement against weight. So here are models that I've just created. And let's clean up the console a little bit and run the code so I have these models. I just hit, hit command return to run code fast. Now, the thing that I want to do now is load up the residuals. So the residuals from one of these models is going to be a vector of numbers. And I can add them to our empty cars partial regression data frame in a new variable. So if I do the dollar sign, I see the three variables in this data set. However, if I wanted to create a new variable, I could say weight residuals. 
and I could put that as the residuals for model weight. And that works. And now when I type that line of code to get the data frame printed to the console, I see a new vector. And that works because the residuals vector is the exact same length as the number of rows in this data frame. So let's do another one. Let's add the displacement residuals. That's from empty cars model displacement. Let's do another one that I'm going to call the weight against displacement residuals. Weight against, for lack of a better like word to describe what that is, weight against displacement residuals. And this one I'm going to call displacement against weight residuals. Run these lines of code. Now I have everything that I need in order to construct my ggplot object. So the data here is going to be my MT cars partial regression data frame. My aesthetics in the first case, in the first one of these plots, my aesthetic my on the x-axis I'm going to be looking for um, hmm, the displacement against weight residuals and on the y-axis I'm going to be looking for the weight residuals and then I could do this same treatment geom point plus geom smooth method equals lm and th in this case, I'll also add um, a color. This is one that I have sitting next to me, E76254. The new version of our studio, it actually just shows you the color, which is fun and very useful. And let's add um, titles. These, these graphs are going to need titles. So this is going to be empty cars and the subtitle here, I'm going to call it um, MTGAR and miles per gallon as a function of weight plus displacement. Um, let's call it partial regression. Miles per gallon as a function of displacement. But the X lab is going to need a more specific name too. I'm going to call that um, displacement. And I can also do the backslash n, which creates a line break. That's common across lots of different programming languages. And then um, more specifically in the code, that backs that displacement is the displacement against the weight residuals. And y lab is going to be, in this case, miles per gallon with another backslash n because miles per gallon is really going to be the weight residuals as you can see and uh, let's create that graph yep ta-da now um, let's create the second graph and then we can put them together so in this case the second graph is actually going to be the weight against the displacement residuals and on the y-axis, it's actually going to be the displacement residuals. So let's make that clear that that is actually um, expressed in the code weight. And um, if we do the library patchwork, there's a library called patchwork that lets you put two things together. So I'm going to call this first graph. I'm going to call this second graph. Run these lines of code so that I have first graph and second graph. And then I can just add them together with patchwork. And create my added variable plots. So this gives me a way of creating these added variable plots with more flexibility and as opposed to using the AV plots function in the car library, which I think is a little bit ugly. Now, if you had 
three, four, five different independent regressors, you may want to just use a package that's already been constructed because the combinations of these different residuals is going to become a little bit more complicated, a little bit faster. But with an A and a B, like weight and displacement, you can certainly construct your own by creating your own unique data frame with the different residuals in it. Hope this is helpful. Bye.